A bill in the Tennessee State Senate aims to help hundreds of thousands of Tennesseans living with diabetes. News Channel 5's Blake Rosnowski is live near the state capitol this morning to share how this proposal may work. As she's also the birthday girl. Happy birthday, Blake. Thank you so much, Adam. So what we're dealing with here is that one in four of people who are diagnosed with diabetes, they actually report that they underuse insulin because of the price of the cost. And one senator is hoping to change that. Her name is Katrina Robinson. She's from the Memphis area. And she says this bill would put a cap on the price of insulin for insured Tennesseans. It would require health insurance providers charge no more than $100 for a 30-day supply of insulin for covered patients. The bill would also require the Department of Health and the Division of Consumer Affairs to look into the pricing of prescription insulin and report what they find out coming up in this November. Counting for inflation, prices have risen by a whopping 555% over the last 14 years. Now, Tennessee ranks 45th in the nation of folks who have diabetes. There are 650,000 people who are diagnosed with the disease, and it's estimated about 250,000 are living with it and don't even know it. Live near the Capitol, Blake Rosnowski, News Channel 5.